we are here today for training on hydrocarbon refrigerants. And we're gonna look at using R290 and R600A in light commercial refrigeration equipment. So why did the manufacturers start to move to R290 for their equipment? This started back in about 2014 to 2015 when manufacturers in the U.S. started to move towards using R290 or R600A in their equipment. So we'll look at some of the reasons. The first and the main reason that we've already discussed is how they have a low GWP. Looking at the chart here, you can see again CO2 at a baseline of 1 and R600A and R290, which have a global warming potential of 3. And then when we compare that to R134A, R22, and R404A, which go all the way from 1300 to 3750, you can see why the manufacturers wanted to go ahead and move towards these gases. R290 is very efficient. So looking at this medium glass door merchandiser, there's about a million of those out in the US, which makes for easy math when we look at this efficiency gain. So if we have an R404 cabinet, which is the first one on the chart, compared to an R290 cabinet, the differences here are that we used R290, we have an R290 compressor, and there's gonna be ECM motors and LED lighting in the R290 cabinet. Some of the changes that we talked about that the manufacturers looked at to meet those DOE efficiency gains. So the R404 equipment, you see uses 1,194 kilowatt hours per year compared to only 810 kilowatt hours per year for the R290 cabinet. That's a 32% reduction or about 384 million kilowatt hours per year that we've saved. So that's 384 million kilowatt hours per year that no longer need to be generated. And that's just for medium glass door merchandisers. So when you think about all the light commercial refrigeration equipment out there, once we change it out, we're really saving a lot in energy. We also look at the money savings. So $119 per year for R404 compared to $81 for that R290 cabinet. It's only $38, but across the country, that's $38 million in savings just for this equipment. And finally, the most important part, what the legislators really move towards, so we have about 14,000 pounds of CO2 equivalent that have been generated using that R404 equipment, about 9,000 pounds in R290 for a savings of 5,000 pounds of CO2 over 10 years, which equates to 5,000 million pounds of CO2 over 10 years by making the switch from R404 to R290 for all of these medium glass door merchandisers. Finally, the manufacturers chose these gases because they are safe. A lot of technicians out there are worried about the safety of working on R290 and R600A systems, but we've been using these refrigerants in Europe since about 2003. The charge in the system is actually only about two to three Bic lighters worth. So the charge limit here in the US is only 5.3 ounces or 150 grams. On a worldwide level, this charge limit has just been increased recently up to 17.6 ounces or 500 grams, but we won't see these changes in the US for quite some time, especially in the aftermarket. There's also some additional benefits and the reason why manufacturers decided to go towards this equipment. So you can see on the chart here that there's a lower operating temperature compared to R404. So we can expect to have a lower shell temperature, lower discharge, and a longer compressor life. And it's a pretty significant difference in the temperature between the two gases. Looking right here, we can see the shell temperature for a R290 system at 111 degrees compared to 140 degrees for R404. And we can see a discharge temperature of 167 degrees for R290 compared to 201 for R404. An additional benefit is the reduction in refrigerant charge. So looking here at the chart, you can see R290 uses about 45 to 50% less gas or a 45 to 50% reduction in charge compared to R404 and R134. And R600A uses about 35 to 40% less charge compared to R134. This may not be an immediate benefit for techs. The price for R290 is still relatively high, when I started doing this presentation in early 2017, a 14-ounce cylinder of R290 in the United States was anywhere from $200 to $250. Doing that presentation now, in late 2019, that same R290 cylinder is down to $15 to $50, depending on the part of the country that you're in. So as this continues to get to be more popular and used in more places for more replacements, you'll continue to see that gas price go down. And finally, the reason that the manufacturers went this direction is just because they could already meet most light commercial applications with that small charge. Occasionally, you'll see a second or a third circuit in a piece of equipment, but that will probably begin to change over the coming years as that new charge limit of 17.6 ounces is slowly introduced in the U.S. in whatever level it ends up being approved at. So a summary of some of the benefits of the manufacturers going ahead and moving to R290 and R600A, the flambeau refrigerants, is the low GWP, energy efficiency, some of the additional benefits, the temperature differences, like a lower operating temperature, lower shell temperature, and then hopefully a longer compressor life, and also the reduction in refrigerant charge. 